All right, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kyle Anderson, and today I have a session from Rant48. So since I'm bringing you guys a session from Rant48, and it's kind of like my older videos when I first restarted my channel of my vert progress, I figured I would set up the old studio with the lights and the boards and all of that to film this talking bit, but also because it was quite noisy in the skate park at the time of the recording, so I couldn't really speak to the camera that well. So anyways, during this session, I was practicing five tricks that you don't need to know how to drop in to do. And the main reason I'm doing that is because once again, to nobody's surprise, I'm scared of dropping in on the vert ramp, which I can't really blame myself because I don't skate it super often and just staring up at a 12 and a half foot wall, <laughs> I don't know. For some reason in my head, once I'm standing up on top of there, it's really scary. So I just need to fight through that and get over that fear and just do it. So the first trick that I was practicing was the front slash grind, which was one of the first tricks that I learned on vert. I think because of that, it's one of the tricks that I'm most comfortable doing. When I was first beginning my vert progress, I was doing obviously just pumping and kick turns. I was never really good at front side kick turns, so I was doing those a lot. And then I finally got up to the coping and I just did a little, little slash grind up there. And it just, it's felt so great ever since. For some reason, that is way easier to me than dropping in. And I've here heard it from everyone at the skate park and other people that are like, how can you do front side slash grinds, but you can't drop in? I don't know. I don't know what's going on in my smooth brain. So here are a few front side slash grinds that has easily become my favorite trick to do on the vert ramp, especially with my mental block right now of not being able to drop in. So those are my slash grinds. And I would like to say, I mean, I'm not fully standing up on them, but for my current skill set, I think those are pretty good slash grinds. And if you agree, hit that thumbs up button. It would mean the world to me if you can. And while you're at it, if you're enjoying these kind of videos, please hit the subscribe button and maybe share with some friends. That, that would just be so awesome to try and grow the channel. The next three tricks are all ollie variations. And I'm just gonna preface it right now. They're all gonna be super low in the transition because like I said, I'm not comfortable dropping in. So I really want to learn these tricks lower in the transition, just get them dialed down and try and give myself a boost of confidence to maybe drop in and try and learn some proper airs. Because if you've been watching along for a while before I kind of, you know, stopped skating for consistently, I had a very ambitious goal of learning an air before 2020 ended, which that obviously did not happen. I did learn early grabs, very low in the transition, even lower than a lot of these tricks in this video. However, I don't really count that. I wanna get over the coping. Obviously, that's the goal. I wanna to fly, feel that weightlessness, come back down, it's gonna be a ton of fun once I get there. But to practice that, the next set of tricks, like I said, are ollie variations. So trick number two is the front side ollie. In my mind, I figured this would be a great stepping stone to learning front side airs. These are way lower in the transition, but I do feel like getting these basic stepping stones down is gonna help me in the long run of skating vert and just skating transition and everything like that. A lot of these ollie tricks, I did have issues just committing to them. And I realized that that is probably one of the biggest things that I have going wrong in a lot of my vert skating and just actually skating in general is the commitment. I have the skill set. I just got to put it down. I'd probably be dropping in every single time if I could get out of my own way with the front side ollie. They were feeling kind of good. I just, you know, some of them I wasn't really comfortable putting down even though they were coming around completely. And others, I was just not really quite sure what to do with my feet. So they didn't really work out too well. But here are a few front side ollies. So trick number three is the ollie to fakie, and I'm not super comfortable rolling fakie off of the wall, and I've never really done ollie fakie. Even the smaller ramps at Weston, I never really tried ollie fakies, which I did a few in the blunt fakie video just to kind of get that feel. I figured doing them on the vert ramp would be a little bit better because the transition is obviously longer and wider. The movements are a little bit slower, but you do go a little bit faster, so I wanted to just get used to doing them on the vert. I don't have them up to the actual vert yet, so I am still, like I said, very low in the transition on the ramp. I did get a handful of them that were pretty good. They do need a lot of work, but here are those.
Trick number four is the fakie ollie. I've had a ton of people tell me that I should actually learn fakie ollies as my first air, and in my mind, I thought that that was kind of crazy. I'm not really great at fakie ollies in general, and even though I learned them on the mini ramp at Weston, it's a totally different feeling in my opinion doing them on vert because of the vert. So I wanted to start them very low, do them around the size of the mini ramp at Weston, so actually popping the tail. Going all the way up to the vert feels totally strange to me. I'm not sure if once I get up there, if I'm gonna actually still continue popping and I'm gonna send myself out to flat, which is gonna really suck if that happens. But for the few that I did get, I am very stoked with the progress that I made. There was a few that I went way higher than I was expecting, and I think I might have touched the vert. I'm not quite sure. And then there was a couple that I, I jokingly was like, I'm just gonna send it as high as I can. And the board went into my hand. So now I have it in my head that I might be able to do a fakie ollie to front side grab. So I might try that in the future, but we'll see how my confidence goes and if I ever actually do that. Or I, I will probably do that, but we'll see if I do that anytime soon. And trick number five to boost my confidence, I was practicing tail stalls. If you watched my very first video that I did skating the vert ramp, you would have seen that there was a session that I was skating with Danny and I did a tail stall and then I ran up and dropped in for the very first time. So I figured maybe if I just get this tail stall down better and better and better, like actually get the full tail up on the deck, like a proper tail stall, it would very well help myself get that confidence boost to drop in with no hesitation. Right now they're not completely decked up there, but like they're little tail taps. They actually during this session, I did some of the best tail stalls, tail stalls that I've ever done. So I'm very stoked on those. Without further ado, here are my tail stalls. So these are the five tricks that I wanted to work on during this session. But during this, my buddy Lewis, who you've seen on the channel before, was skating with me and he's actually showing a little bit of interest in vert. So I have some footage of him skating as well. He has dropped in a handful of times, but is kind of also in the same basket as me. He's kind of terrified of that height. I can't blame him in any aspect, but he's getting a lot more comfortable doing his kick turns and he's actually learning how to use his knee pads, which when he did his first drop in, he didn't really know how to knee slide, which was terrifying to me personally. So here's some footage of Lewis. So I know this video is a little bit different, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm kind of debating whether switching my uploads to Sundays, which is the day that this video is going up. I'm gonna leave a comment in the comment section below asking you guys which day of the week you like uploads better. So please drop a reply in that comment and let me know. It'll just help me out. Sundays are a little bit easier with the work week, get a little more time to edit and produce these videos. But Fridays is pretty nice as well. Then I have the weekend not having to worry about it, but just let me know what you guys think. But with all that being said, this is the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. If you found any enjoyment throughout this, please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing. And as always, get out there and push your comfort. Hi there. Ich bin Okay. 20 minutes later, bye.